Remember this portion of the story of God as it is written in the book that we love, from Daniel 3. The binding of Shadrach, Meshach, <laughs> and Abednego. <laughs> Nebuchadnezzar, the king, built an image of gold 90 feet high and 9 feet wide. He raised it up on the plain of Dura in the land of Babylon. Nebuchadnezzar, the king, <laughs> sent word together the governors, the advisors, the mayors, the clerks, the treasurers, the judges, the sheriffs, and all the officials of the provinces to come to the dedication of the image that Nebuchadnezzar, the king, had raised up. <laughs> then the governors, the advisors, the, the mayors, the clerks, the treasurers, the judges, the sheriffs, and all the officials of the provinces were gathered for the dedication of the image that Nebuchadnezzar, the king, had raised up. And he rose before the image that Nebuchadnezzar had. <laughs> Nebuchadnezzar had raised up. And the herald called out loudly, To you it is commanded, O peoples, nations, and languages, the moment you hear the sound of the horn, pipe, lyre, trigon, harp, bagpipe, and all the other instruments, you shall fall down and bow before the image of gold that Nebuchadnezzar, the king, has made. Whoever does not fall down and bow shall within the hour be thrown into the heart of the furnace of the flaming fire. At the designated time, when all the peoples heard the sound of the horn, pipe, lyre, trigon, harp, and all the other instruments, they fell down. All the peoples, nations, and languages bowed to the image of gold that Nebuchadnezzar, the king, had raised up. At the same time, Chaldean men drew near to the king, and they denounced the Jews. They, they spoke up Meh. and said to Nebuchadnezzar, the, the king. king. O oh, king, live forever! You, O oh, king, made a decree that everyone who hears the sound of the horn, pipe, lyre, trigon, harp, bagpipe, and all the other instruments must fall down and bow to the image of gold. And whoever does not fall down and bow will be thrown into the heart of the furnace of the flaming fire. There are men, <laughs> Jews, whom you appointed over the affairs of the land of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. To, to you, O king, these men pay no heed. To your gods they show no fear. To the image of gold that you have raised up, they, they do, do not bow. Then Nebuchadnezzar, full of fire and fury, ordered that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego be brought. Then these men were brought before the king. Speaking up, Nebuchadnezzar said to them, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? To my gods you show no reverence, and to the image of gold that I have raised up you do not bow? Now, if you are ready, the moment that you hear the sound of the horn, Pipe, lyre, trigon, harp, bagpipe, and all the other instruments, you will fall down and bow to the image that I have made. If you do not bow, at that moment you shall be thrown into the heart of the furnace of the flaming fire. And who is the god who will deliver you from my hand? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego spoke up. and said to the king, O oh, Nebuchadnezzar, we do not feel any compulsion to engage you in this test. If it is to be, our God whom we reverence has the power to save us from the furnace of the flaming fire. And from your hand, O oh, king, he may save us. But if not, let this be known to you, O oh, king. To your gods, we will show no reverence. And to the image of gold that you have raised up, 
We will not we will bow. Not we will bow. not bow. Oh. Then Nebuchadnezzar was so filled with fury against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego <laughs> that his face was contorted. <laughs> Speaking up, he said to heat up the furnace seven times more than he normally heated it. He ordered men, inviting men who were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and to throw them into the furnace of the flaming fire. Then these men were bound in their coats, their trousers, their shirts, and their hats, and were thrown into the heart of the furnace of the flaming fire. Because the word of the king was so hot, and the furnace was so overheated, a fire flash killed the men who lifted up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. But these men, the three of them, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell bound into the heart of the furnace of the flaming fire. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was stunned. He rose up quickly, speaking up, he said to his counselors, Did we not throw three men bound into the heart of the fire? They spoke up and said to the king, Certainly, O oh king. Speaking up, he said, Look, I see four men free and walking in the heart of the fire, and there is not a burn on them. And the appearance of the fourth is like a son of the gods. <laughs> then Nebuchadnezzar approached the mouth of the furnace of the flaming fire. Uh, uh, speaking up, he said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Servants of, of the Most High God, come out. Come here. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out from the heart of the fire. The governors, the advisors, the mayors, and the counselors of the king inspected these men on whose bodies the fire had shown no power. The hair on their head had not been singed. Their clothes had not been burned. The smell of fire was not on them. And speaking up, Nebuchadnezzar said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his angel and saved his servants, who ignored, ignored the orders of the king and gave their bodies, who did not bow and did not show reverence to any god except their god. I hereby make a decree that any people, that any nation, people and nation and language, language who speaks ill of the God, of Shadrach, Meshach, of the God and of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be torn in pieces what? and their houses destroyed. <laughs> For there is no other God who is able to deliver in this way. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the land of Babylon. Babylon. 